In this video, I'm going to be going over matrix operations, which include addition, subtraction, transpose, and multiplication of matrices. So we'll start with the easiest one first, which is addition and subtraction. We can only add or subtract matrices that are the same shape. So if a matrix A has M rows and N columns, we can only add or subtract it with a matrix B that also has the same amount of rows and columns. So an example, this matrix plus this matrix. And now this is a two by two matrix, and this is also a two by two matrix. So we can do this addition. And so when we add, the shape of the matrix is gonna stay the same. So the shape is gonna be a two by two matrix. And in this first corner here is gonna be the addition of the first corner of our two matrices that we're adding. So it's gonna be three, and the next one is gonna be two, four and five. If we have another example, in this one we're going to subtract and we ha also again have two, one, three, four as our matrix and we subtract a one, one matrix. We can't do this because the matrices aren't the same shape. This is a two by two, and this is a two by one. So we can't do that. If we were then to subtract these two matrices, we would get one, zero, two and three. No, for transpose. And if you've never taken a linear algebra course, there's a good chance you've never heard this word before. And all that means is that we're gonna be turning a matrix and we're gonna switch the rows of a matrix and make them the columns of another matrix. So if we have the matrix A, we say it's two, one, three, four. If we take A transpose, which is written as A to the T power, we have two, one, three, four. And it might be hard to see the change with such a small matrix and a square matrix, so we can make it a little bigger to make it a little more obvious how this changes. And we can just expand this as a two by three. So if we take a transpose of this, well, column one will become row one of a transpose. So we'll have three, four, two as the first row, and then we'll have one, five, six as the second row. And so we went from a three by two matrix to a two by three matrix because our rows and columns change places. Lastly, we have multiplication, which is probably the hardest of the three, but not overly difficult. And so let's start off with uh, two matrices. So we're gonna say matrix A is three, one, two, four, and matrix B is going to be one, three. And so if we were to multiply these two matrices, we say A times B, we would have three, one, two, four, and one, three. And now let's look at the shape, shapes of these matrices. We have a two by two matrix multiplied by a two by one matrix. And we can only multiply two matrices if this is the same. If the columns of one matrix is the same as the rows of the other. So then what's gonna happen is that when we get this solution, our answer is going to be the shape of the numbers on the outside here. So it's gonna be the, row, the rows of the first matrix by the columns of the second matrix. So it's a, two rows in the first matrix, one column in the second matrix. So our solution matrix is also going to be two by one. And so now when we do this multiplication, uh, an easy way to look at this is we say, we look at the first place, and this first place is the first row and first column of the matrix. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first row of matrix 1 by the first column of matrix 2. And so when we do this, this is going to be the answer 3 times 1, and that's this 3 and this 1, plus 1 times 3 which is this one and this three. And next we're gonna look at this second place. I'm gonna switch the color. We're gonna look at the second place, which is the second row, but still the first column. And so when we get the answer for this one, it's going to be the second row of the first matrix times the first column again of the second matrix. And so it's going to be two times one, this two, this one, plus four times three, which is this, four and this three. And so our answers are gonna come out to three plus three is six, and two plus 12 is 14. So the matrix is going to be six, 14. And 
uh, just for the sake of looking at it, if we have two matrices and we have the matrix A, B, C, D, which is a two by two matrix, and then we have matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, this is a three by three. So that means that we cannot multiply these matrices because the columns of one matrix is not the same sh size as the rows of another. There's only size two in this first one, as seen here, and only size three in the second one. And because none of those numbers are the same, we can't multiply them.